let's have a look at this example from section 1.1. Now section 1.1 is a section that talks about variables and it also begins to discuss this idea that when we express ourselves mathematically we want to do so in a precise way to make sure the meaning that we're intending to get across is actually communicated. Now this example says fill in the blank to rewrite the following statement. Every non-zero real number has a multiplicative inverse. Okay, that is a universal existential statement. Uh, this was discussed in the previous video uh, on this section. And here, again, getting back to that idea of the same concept can be expressed in different ways, we are rewriting this and we wanna make sure that we do so in a way that captures the original meaning, doesn't add anything, doesn't take anything away, um, just writes it in a different form. So, Every non-zero real number has a multiplicative inverse. We could say all non-zero real numbers have multiplicative inverses. Okay, so that would have the same meaning as the original statement. Part B says for all non-zero real numbers x, there is blank. Well, in part A, we didn't see a variable. In part B, we do. They introduce this variable x. Now, if we're going through the trouble of introducing a variable, we better use that variable, okay? So if we filled in a blank here without using x, then, the natural question would be, well, why did we bother to call it x if we weren't going to use it? So here's how we could write, fill in this blank to have the same meaning and use the variable x. We could say there is a multiplicative inverse. Okay, so we've used x, we've written this in a way um, that has the same meaning as the original statement. And now we come to part c. And part c says for all non-zero real numbers x, there is a real number y such that y is blank. Now notice here we're using two different variables. We're using one variable x, another variable y. Now they've already used y after introducing it. So they say there is a real number y such that y is blank. Okay, and I, so I would still know that I need to use x there. So I'm gonna say such that y is a multiplicative inverse for x. Now you might, uh, instead of saying a multiplicative inverse, you could say the multiplicative inverse. And I wouldn't quibble with that. The meaning is a little different um, because by saying the, you're suggesting that there's only one. Um, that wasn't really something that was stated in the original statement, uh, even though it happens to be true. Um, and you do wanna, keep in mind, again, that you're trying to say the same thing as the original statement. Um, so in a way, it's better to kind of put aside anything that you already know about the subject that is being discussed in the sentence, um, any additional information that is, and just stick to the, the statement itself. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, and uh, feel free to let me know if you have questions, and I'll see you in the next video.